All right, welcome to Video Guys Newsday Tuesday. Every Tuesday at 2 p.m., you give us 15 minutes to a half hour, we're going to teach you more about the technology we sell, what's new in the industry, what's new in video editing, what's new in post production, what's new in live streaming, what's new in uh, church production, wedding production, event production, you name it, we're covering it. We're here to tell you about the products we sell. Remember, you can see us live on Facebook, on YouTube, on Periscope, and Twitch. We also post the show to YouTube after the show, and it's always available for on-demand download. But today's show is live on Facebook. And on Facebook, I just wanted to mention that we're going live through the Wowza Clearcaster. So let's pick up the show. Today's show is about G Technology and G Technology SSD Storage Solutions. I've talked about this little puppy a few times. This is their base SSD that was introduced last year. It was one of my top 10 products of the year. I really love it. It's the... Uh, G Drive Mobile SSD. We've done a bunch of shows on it before in the past. This is a USB-C connected device, super small, fits in your pocket. I don't have one today, but let's pretend I did. Certainly I can palm it in my hand. That's how small it is. The blue reflection you're seeing, well, that's because they actually dissipate the heat through that. We're going to talk a little bit more about that and heat and SSDs as we get into our show. But we have these SSDs available right now. They're in stock. We have the 500, oh, it says 5,000 gigabyte, that's wrong. It's 500 gigabytes for 179.95, the one terabyte for 349.95, the two terabyte for 749.95. These are super fast. USB-C connectivity means they can also connect through older USB 3, USB 2 connectivity. You get a slower speed, but it'll negotiate down. Big fan of this drive. You can see shows that we've done on it before and we've put clips and highlight videos. So I don't want to spend that much time on it. I want to talk about the new stuff. But what I do want to talk about is We've got some special bundles available with Avid Media Composer subscription. You can get the base subscription, which is a $199 value, with the SSD for $449.95. It's a savings of $100. Or you can get Media Composer Ultimate bundled with this SSD for $699.95, a savings of $149.95. We did a whole special show on the Avid Media Composer and the different versions, so please watch that video on our website for more information. Now we're going to jump into the new professional SSD solutions announced at NAB that are shipping. Two of them are shipping so far. Unfortunately, the device I'm going to talk to you about next, the Pro, the SSD Pro Mobile isn't shipping yet, but let's go into that a little bit. G Drive Pro Mobile SSD, what's it got? Up to a terabyte. It's durable. It's drop resistant. Transfer speeds up to 2,800 megabytes. That's virtually flooding the Thunderbolt 3 device. It's so fast. Thunderbolt 3 connectivity. It cools well. Five year limited warranty. I'm going to let, uh, uh, what's his name? Matt Banyan, sorry about that, Matt, from G-Tech. We, we, we videotaped him at the NAB show. Let's roll what Matt had to say about this little device. This is the Thunderbolt 3 version that's 2,800 megabyte a second reads. Now we're getting 2,200 megabyte a second write, so it's really, really fast. This might be the fastest portable SSD on the entire show floor right now. So this one's awesome because it's rugged, it's really fast, it's bus powered, so I don't need to plug this into the wall. Great for on the go. All right, I wish I had one with me, but I don't. Matt's got the only one that I'm aware of in the world that exists. But I want to talk about the device a little bit because you see this device has an SSD in it. The, the, the Pro has VME, which is NVME, which is a new level of SSD performance. It's not instead of SSD, it's taking SSDs to a whole nother level of performance. And it is, stands for non-uniform memory access. And basically what it is, is it's a whole new technology of how SSDs can talk directly across the PCIe bus for the fastest possible connectivity at speeds that here before were, were, were not possible. One of the things that comes with NVMe is, just like I taught you guys about the SSD, is heat. These things throw off a ton of heat. So one of the things that goes into the product is, and I'm going to go back to this one because this is what I got, is it's small. Now the SSD Pro with the NVMe is about this much wider. The reason it's bigger isn't because it's got a bigger piece of hardware inside of it. The NVMe card is the same size as an SSD. It's a little card in it. But it generates so much heat that they have to go with the bigger size, bigger bigger unit. So if you saw when, he was, when Matt was holding his hand, it was more like this wide. But it's super portable. It is bus-powered Thunderbolt 3. Enough of this uh, mumbo-jumbo technology slide. Let's cut to what you really want to know what the pricing is. 
It's going to be available 500 gigabytes for $599.95, a terabyte for $999.95. This is truly portable storage. And if you've got a Thunderbolt 3, iMac, Mac Pro, or some of the new hot laptops that are coming out on uh, Asus and some of the other laptops on the PC side, this thing is lightning fast. You'll edit 4K multiple streams, 8K, no problem. I just want to say HP, get your act together and give us Thunderbolt 3 already on those workstations. Enough already. Shame on you for not having Thunderbolt 3 yet. All right. Now I want to talk about this puppy. This is the G Drive Pro SSD. If you're familiar with this, it's a G Drive case we've all known and loved that normally holds one hard drive in it. Well, this drive has a RAID of NVMe storage, SSD storage inside. This is capable of giving you speeds that were just insane. First of all, you can get up to 7.68 terabytes, almost eight terabytes. You're gonna get 28,000 megabytes per second transfer speeds. It's got dual Thunderbolt 3 ports, so it can be daisy chained very easily. And it's just, this is, if you want the fastest possible drive that's small and uh, more than portable. I mean, this thing's portable, but let's face it, you're not putting it in your pocket. This you can put in a little case with you. This is the way to go. I want to roll a video uh, from the show. We're going to go back to Matt again where he's talking about this drive, the, the G Drive Pro SSD. We're also introducing an awesome new SSD. This is G Drive Pro SSD. Now this is a, a high endurance SSD. So where a traditional SSD's got about three to 500 terabytes written before it dies, this one will go up to 14,000 terabytes written. So incredibly high endurance, really designed for people that are editing all day and will be for years and years. Once again, great drive, Matt. Wish we had you on the show, but... Uh, My favorite product of all... Eddie, get that camera on this for the next shot. All right. So I want to go over the pricing that we have on the G Drive Pro SSDs. The 960 is 1299, the 1 1.92 gigabyte, which is basically almost a two terabyte is 19995. That's why I think is the best value in the lineup. The the 3.64 terabyte is 309995 and the 7.68 almost 8 terabytes is 749995. Guys, this isn't for everyone. This is for when you want to edit pretty much off of a mobile device or an iMac type device, and you want the best possible throughput speed, that's what this gives you. It, it is easy to move around. It has lightning fast speeds that are unheard of. And for the money, it's expensive, but nothing's gonna deliver faster throughput. Next, I wanna talk about what I'm really excited about, which is the G-Speed Shuttle SSDs. We've done some shows, some product spotlights on the G-Speed Shuttle Excels before. This is the Shuttle 4-Bay, but now it's eight bays, and those eight bays are included with, I want to show you this stuff, a regular old SSD. There's eight of them in there. These are Western Digital. I believe they're the black SSDs that go in here like this. So you've got to, oh, they come right back in, pop right back in. I want to twist this so it's more at you now, because what I want to show you is, is this is configured with eight SSDs, but here's what really gets my juices flowing that I think is awesome. Let's take one of these suckers out, and instead let's put in an EV series, Evolution series, Red Reader, or a, CF card, a CFast card reader. Now we can really get that data off of that drive lightning fast like we've never seen before at speeds and connectivity that's unheard of. And with six SSDs in here, this thing is a speed demon and a burner that can do faster than anything else out there on the market. So you're talking about up to 16 terabytes of lightning fast SSD capacity, 2,800 megabytes per second. Folks, that's flooding the Thunderbolt 3 bus. It doesn't get faster than that. This will handle multi-stream 4K, 8K, and VR workflows. Built-in hardware RAID, five-year limited warranty. I mean, five-year warranty. The guys from GTEC, they put their money where their mouth is. They stand behind their products. Five-year warranty is unheard of. With GTEC, that's what you get on these products. It's really great. Matt's got a video again where he talks about this, the, 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 the shuttle. So let's go to that. My favorite product of all these new products, though, is the G-Speed Shuttle SSD, where we were using 
using NVMe SSDs inside the last two we talked about. This is just a raid array of a lot of fast SATA based SSDs. So inside I've got eight two and a half inch SSDs running in RAID 5, giving me 2,800 megabytes a second of read, 2,800 megabytes a second of write. Now this is also user serviceable, so if later I wanted to upgrade all these SSDs to higher capacity, I can do that. We also make a series of Evolution Series products that I can also swap some of these out, take out some SSDs and put in a reader of some kind, and so it becomes very modular. All right, we're back. I know what you want to know is, but what's the price, Gary? So I'm going to tell you what the price is. The 8 terabyte, $49,995. The 16 terabyte, $749995. We're going to have EV Series modules available in the near future. I believe, don't know what the pricing on those, but then it would be a 6 terabyte or a 12 terabyte. But super excited, phenomenal, rugged, lightweight, portable. You can take it on the road with you. We have a... Uh, what do they call those cases? What are the cases called? Pelican. Pelican cases available for these where you can put it in a Pelican case. Got the nice stylish G on it. These are the real deal. We're real excited about it. The G-Speed, G-Shuttle, SSD, super product available in stock now. All right, I wanna go with a tech note now that's real important. And that is something that we've gotta make sure everyone understands. That is Thunderbolt 3 drives are not backward compatible with USB. In addition, they're only backward compatible with Thunderbolt 2 if you're on a Mac and you buy this little $49.95 adapter that you can see we list there, it's available directly from Apple. So you've gotta have that adapter. It, you, you can't, while, while Thunderbolt 3 uses the USB-C port, it's not gonna give you the connectivity. So like this does USB-C, and a Thunderbolt 3 port looks exactly the same. The thing is, is when you plug into a port on your computer, if your computer has a USB-C port, when you plug in a Thunderbolt 3 drive, nothing will happen, it won't work. So a Thunderbolt 3 drive, if you're on a PC and you don't have Thunderbolt 3, a Thunderbolt 3 card in that PC, a Thunderbolt 3 port, you can't use Thunderbolt 3 yet. Now there's a lot of laptops out there that have it, but so far, workstations, as I mentioned earlier, HP can't get their act together, and there is not a Thunderbolt 3 card for HP workstations yet. They've been promising it to me. And NAB, they said it was going to be shipping in April. Now it's May, now it's June, maybe July. Eventually, HP will get their act together. Dell has Thunderbolt 3, I believe, on some of their laptops if they don't have it on their precision workstations yet, and that's what we really need. So this Thunderbolt 3 thing, from a tech point of view, is starting to really tick me off because the PC people aren't keeping up with their end of the bargain. The Mac people clearly are. The Macs, the new Macs have Thunderbolt 3. It's super fast. There's a new technology that NAB was announced at NAB called ProRes RAW. And ProRes RAW, you're gonna need the kind of throughput that Thunderbolt 3 gives you. And that's gonna be a big advantage for Apple and Mac. And I don't think the PC people are waking up to understand that they're potentially gonna have their lunch eaten if they don't get their act together. So once again, if you have a Thunderbolt 3 port on your computer, you can plug in Thunderbolt C drives, but if your computer only has a USB-C port, you can only plug in USB drives to it. You can't plug in a Thunderbolt 3 drive. So that's our tech tip. I hate to put a sour note at the end of the show, but I wanted to make sure people understood this, and I want to call out the PC people for not getting their act together yet. All right, what shows are coming up? We've got some great shows coming up for you. It's, it's graduation season. Kids are graduating from high school, college, going on to jobs and things like that. So what are we going to do next week? We're going to have our top 10 gift ideas for dads and grads. And we're also going to do next week a top 10 storage products. Why? Because when we were making our list up of top 10 items, more than half the items were storage. And we said, wait a second, this, we'll do a storage show that's top 10. We'll do, a, we'll do a top 10 dads for grads. And then on June 5th, we're going to do our show. It's going to be on using... For schools, talking to schools about how to use live video in their schools, what products are available with discounts for live video production. We're talking about some of the production things that you can do in a school environment with live video and why you should be doing live video if you're in a school. If your school's teaching media, it's great to teach video editing. You should be teaching live production as well. And if you're a college or a small university that's got a journalism program, communications program, you should be doing live streaming as part of your teaching to your students. So we're going to do that on our show and talk to you all about that uh, on June 5th. But first we have our dads and grads show coming up and our top 10 storage. All right, 
that wraps today's show up. I hope you found it informative. We're real excited. I love how the motion graphics going. I like to put that in there. Whoa. All right. Today, Newsday Tuesday was on GTEC SSD storage. I think we brought you up to speed on what's out there. Like I said, this puppy's in stock. The, the G Drive Pro is in stock. The shuttle SSDs are in stock. The, 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 the Pro, the mobile SSD Pro isn't in stock yet, but we hope to have it shortly. I think we told you a little bit about some new technology that's in these drives, as well as a little uh, cautionary tale of a tech tip at the end of a warning. This is Gary from VideoGuys.com. Videos Guys Newsday Tuesday. Tuesdays at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Tune into our show. Watch us. Learn about the video stuff we sell. We're live on Facebook. We're live on YouTube. We're live on Periscope. And now we're live on Twitch also. So if you're looking to stream your gaming stuff, watch our shows on Twitch. Learn more about streaming video. Like us. Give us your comments. Tell your friends about our shows. We enjoy doing these shows. We want to get more viewership. I'd love to have a thousand people not watch the show. Not a couple hundred, but... Come on in, watch us every Tuesday. This is Gary from VideoGuys.com. Peace. Video Guys is available Monday through Friday. Give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.